question commonly asked by many people is, is my tractor going to have fluid-filled tires? Why do you fluid-filled tires? And what is the main purpose of a fluid-filled tire? So today I'll kind of address all those and some other ways you can get around fluid filler or even add to that benefit. The main reason to have fluid filled rear tires on the tractor is due to weight and counterbalance when you're using your front end loader. The more weight you have on the back end of a machine means the more you can pick up on your front end of the machine with the front end loader. So adding fluid to let's say these tires here on the L4060 would add probably about five or 600 pounds of extra weight which means you will have a lot more lift capacity with your front end loader. You also have some other features that you can add when fluid filling tires, such as rear weights on your tires or a implement on the back of your tractor that'll help counterbalance everything. Now your other usefulness for fluid filled tires will be stability on ground and on slopes. The more weight that is low to the ground, better center of gravity, means that you can basically be more stable, more safe, and easy to operate on sloped or hilly ground. On that side, you can also space your tires out, which we discussed in the last video a little bit, about how spacing your tires out will increase stability on ground sides. But of course, if you have gates to go through or trailers to get on, that makes it a little bit more difficult. Another question is, well, will you fluid fill my front tires? The answer on that is it is not recommended. We have done it a few times, but it is not recommended due to the extra wear and tear that the front axle, front axle seals and bearings receive when there's extra weight on the front end. And almost all your stability on the ground comes from your rear wheels and tires. So that's why we try to fluid fill every set of rear tires that leaves out of here unless specifically requested otherwise and why we recommend and talk about proper counter ballast with the rear of the tractor, implements on the back, weight boxes on the back, whatever needed to make sure that you operate it safely.